All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about a topic that a lot of you guys have asked me about over the last year or so, and that is how do the containers get held to the ship, what keeps them from falling off, etc., and what, how are they held together. So we're going to take a look at that today. We're outside. We're exactly in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, heading back to USA. So it's a great day out here for it. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we're here at a bay that's not occupied right now. It's a little bit windy out here, I apologize for that. So, you can see the containers right here. There's turnbuckles at the bottom and they're holding these lashing bars. And that's what holds the, the lower level of the containers together. And the other lashing bar goes and it holds the base of the second level container. Right up there you can see it. So let's take a closer look at that real quick. So basically at the bottom, there's a D-ring, and there's your turnbuckle. And what the longshoremen do, they'll put their bar in right here, and they'll turn it. And that's what makes it tighter after they get it together. And then it just goes up and connects right there. And when we just looked up there, this is what it's connecting to on the top. The bar goes right in here and it just holds in. And you can see the twist locks right underneath there. That's what it sits on, which is these right here. And then they can pull these tabs right here, and that lock locks them in position. Once the container sits on it, this will be in this position, holding it in there. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's sideways. That's what holds the container down. And here's another one right here. You can see this one's in the position. That's what it would be like when the container's locked. And then like that unlocked and it's simply just done by maneuvering that it's that simple now these are all 40 foot containers you can see that they come to the very end of the bay right here and then there's the catwalk where you walk where we just were now some of the containers are 20 foot so they need a base that's not on both ends so they have them right in the middle here and what they'll do, they'll put a, a shoe there, twist lock shoe, that locks actually to the bottom, on the inside. It locks on the inside, then the container will just sit on top of that. And these are the lashing bars you see in the middle of the bay right here. So you'll have a 20 foot container over here, and you can have another one over here. So that's why you have them all in the middle. Now you see spots right here. The crane can connect when it picks up these hatch covers. And here's two more right here. Right there and there. That's where the crane will come and pick these up when these hatch covers come off. So let's go down and take a look at them. These also lock in place. Okay, before we get down though, like we said, the lashing bars are holding the first two levels. Now when you go up, uh, Above that, you know, the third, fourth, fifth, and a lot of ships are carrying nine high. There's twist locks on all four corners of the containers, holding them to the container just below it. And that's what's holding them up there that high. All this extra reinforcement and bars, that's on the lower levels here. But the rest of them up top are being held by four twist locks per container, holding them to the container just below. Okay, so here's the hatch cover we were just walking on top of. And right here, you can see that it's locked. Right there. And it gets locked right here with this, this right here. This just simply pulls out. And there are uh, three of them on each side. You'll see the one in the middle right here. So these hatch covers are all locked down at sea. And the bay numbers are always marked. And there's the after one right there. So here's some spare lashing bars. They're just kept in these holders right here for the longshoremen. And here's the shoes that I was talking about, the ones for the 20 foot containers. They just go in the middle. See, the lock is on the bottom and it'll sit just like that. And the middle of the 20 foot containers will just sit down on here. So that's what that's for. They lock from the bottom because obviously the 20 foot container when it's sitting in place, you can't go 
underneath of it and pull that tab. Okay, so we have another container here all the way port, aft. And this container here, you'll see that it's a little bit longer. These last three all the way on the port side. They're 45 foot containers. Sometimes on the ship you'll see that as well. But most of them are 40 and 20. Mostly we're carrying 40s. There's the bay where we just were a moment ago, looking at the after side of the bridge and the stack. So anyway guys, we'll have a short video here. It's a little windy outside, but that's basically how the containers are held in place. Through the lashing bars, the twist locks, and the twist locks are holding them to the containers below them. So if you have any questions, just put it in the comment section down below, and I'll try to answer them when I get a chance. And as always, thanks for watching this video, and come back and see us. We'll have some more videos real soon, guys.